Hey y'all, it's John, and today we're going to talk about how you can give yourself a $200 a month raise. Nothing funny, no side hustle needed. This is just by changing the withholding you have for your, your federal taxes. So this channel is all about budgeting, investing, saving, building wealth and building a sense of abundance. And this is a topic I'm really, really passionate about. Many, many years ago, when I first was earning an income, getting my first jobs, I loved tax returns, right? I loved doing them and I loved getting that chunk of money. It felt like free money. But the more I thought about it, and I started to have some people explain to me and say one phrase that changed my entire opinion, and I'm deathly against them right now. Now, most of the people who do get tax returns, they are waiting for that money. They are sometimes very desperate for that money, but it's not free money. It's their money the government's giving back to them, right? They're desperate for it. They need it for repairs or home improvements or food in some cases. This means they've been giving the federal government more money every single month that they could have been using to pay for their family. Now, I will say it does take some discipline here. As with any budgeting investing, you have to have some discipline. If you had extra money every month, would you waste it? Would you go to Starbucks? Would you take another vacation, buy a better car? and then still end up in the same situation at tax time, well, you've gotta be, you've gotta be disciplined. You've gotta recognize that money and use it for yourself. But the phrase that I heard was that you are giving the federal government a zero interest loan for, the, for a year for them to use, and then they're just giving their, your money back to you at tax time. No thank you, no Christmas card, no interest. So instead of taking that $200 a month and putting it into an investment that's going to pay you, you're giving it to them for free and then they're giving it back to you at the end and treating like it's something special. It's important to remember that the tax return is not like the stimulus money that came through. There, you know, there's no taxes associated. This printed more money and sent you checks. That literally feels like free money. And many of us put that into investments or savings, or there was a huge boom in home remodels because people had suddenly thousands of dollars extra that they could go spend. But their tax return is your money they took from you, and now they're just giving it back without anything extra. Now, if you had this extra money and you just put it over here into a savings account, you're going to earn your, you know, like 0.1% interest. But if you put it into investments, you could have captured that 10, 12, 15% growth that we've been experiencing over the past few years in the stock market. So let's take a look at a couple of numbers here real quick. I've got two things I want to share with you. The first one is uh, from a spreadsheet from the census and all households in 2019, that's the most updated information I could find, all households have a median income of $68,703. Now, that's broken down in a lot of different ways versus singles and married and unmarried and female head of households and everything else, but let's just use that $68,703. The second thing to know is that from the IRS in 2020, the average refund was $2,741. Divide that by 12 and you're coming out with more than $200 a month that you were paying extra in taxes. But you can go to your employer, take the W-4, actually you can download the W-4 online, and change your deductions to increase the amount you bring home versus the amount that is withheld. If you bring home more money, you could adjust it to get an extra $200 on average to your account every single month. Now, of course, your specific situation is going to vary. If you're single and lower paid, if you're married and you have very high income, you know, you've got to really think about this. You've got to put the effort in to kind of tweak it a little bit, but you can change it. Look back at your past two tax seasons. Look at how much you had look uh, coming back to you in a refund look at your current take-home pay a month of pay 
And if you overpaid and you got a refund of $2,400, you can increase your monthly bring home by 200. Grab a W-4, go to your employer, change your deductions, take home more, give yourself a raise without anything else changing, and then the next step is to be disciplined with it. You know you've got that extra $200. I mean, if you've got a pressing bill, pay that off. Build up a reserve fund. Pay down your high interest debt. Build into an investment fund. Easy $200 and the government's not using it for free from you. Thank you very much. If, if you like this, please subscribe to this channel. There's tons more coming. Like this video. Please leave me a positive comment below. I appreciate it, guys. Otherwise, go live a life of abundance.